Keep fun, my friends. Hey, hello everyone and welcome to this session. Um, this session is on for CUET UG MSCT 2024 five year LLB and I'm Vashnavi, your English educator and today we are going to be discussing pronouns and this is part one. I'm so sorry for being late. Today it was really late. <laughs> okay, I noted, duly noted, <laughs> duly noted, Rahi. So, uh, you know what time it is today? It is concept time, everybody. So, we are going to discuss some concept, very, very important concept um, that we are going to be discussing, okay? Aaj ka hamara session is about concepts okay so there are going to be many sessions on concept today i wanted to include exercises as well hence the problem happened where i could not include the exercise and ppt um was something that i had to work on a lot to get this content and hence i was late uh too much of hence <laughs> but uh Anywho, next class, you will have some exercises as well on this as well as reflexive and emphatic, okay, that we will be doing. Aaj hum pers pers personal pronoun ta complete karenge. We will try targeting personal pronoun. However, however, my target was that we complete reflexive as well as emphatic, uh, reflexive and emphatic as well. But I don't think that would be possible because I've not come up with a concept. If, if by any chance, hello, Rupal, hi. I'm good, sweetheart. How are you? So if by any chance we get time, then we will be doing the concept as well. All right. So sabse pehle shuru karte hai with the concepts. Okay. Concept ke saath shuru karte. Like I said, my target was that we finish all these uh, pronouns. Hum karne wale personal. Okay. Personal. Personal to karenge hi reflexive. And emphatic pronouns be hamara target tha. Let's see if we can, uh, we are able to achieve it, okay? Ashley, look at me. Why we use pronouns, okay? Why we use pronouns is uh, what we are going to first discuss, okay? Why we use pronouns, use karte hai, okay? Agar hum ye dono sentences dekhe, okay? Shushmita is a good girl. Shushmita always comes first. Shushmita obeys her teachers. Everybody praises Shushmita. Okay. Theek hai? This is sentence one. Okay. This we did. Sentence one. Okay. So Shushmita is a good girl. Shushmita always comes first. Shushmita obeys her teachers. Everybody praises Shushmita. Okay. Uh, now this is sentence B. If you look at sentence B, it says Shushmita is a good girl. She always comes first. She obeys her teachers. Everybody praises her. Okay. So if you see here, we have replaced Shushmita with she. Okay. So you will note that the second sentence sounds better. Okay. This definitely sounds better. Sentence B sounds better. Right. Sentence B sounds better. So it is easier and nicer to say she or her than to repeat the noun that is Shushmita over here every time. <clears throat> Sorry, everybody. She or her has been uh, used in place of noun that is Shushmita. Or she or her is a pronoun. Okay, so she or her is a pronoun, which is for a noun. Okay, pronoun is basically means for a noun. Okay. Shifa, but I'm going to change the timings from next month onwards, uh, 
Shifa. Next month onwards, uh, I'm going to change the timing of the, these classes. Hare Krishna, Sakshi. No, this timing is not suiting uh, Shifa. Uh, she said, till, at least till Ramadan, uh, she asked me to shift the timings, but uh, I wasn't able to do it for now. Okay, so hence she's saying she's going to go. Hi, Afreen. Okay, I'm moving it to probably, uh, I'm changing it to 4 to 5. Let's see uh, if they allow me. Let's see what is the change of timing or uh, probably 4.15 to 5.15. Let's see whatever the timing is. But next month onwards, it's going to get changed. Okay, don't worry. You're welcome, Shiva. I've already spoken about it. It's not that I forgot or I'm... Just letting it be. <laughs> I think about you. <laughs> okay. All right. So let's. Wow, Shyam. So much of message. These are the kinds of pronoun. Okay. Kinds of pronoun. So there are many kinds of pronouns. Sabse pehle hum karne wale hain, jo hum, uh, sabse pehle karne wale, we are going to do all of this. Okay. So personal pronouns includes I, we, they, you, he, she, it. All right. All these are personal pronouns. Okay. I'm fantastic. I'm fantastic. Uh, Afreen. How are you, Afreen? And then we have reflexive and emphatic, which includes myself, herself, himself, yourself, and them ke saath kya aa jata? themselves ho jata, okay? Plural ke saath. Uh, and so it goes with ourselves as well, okay? Ourselves, okay? Then we have demonstrative, this, that, these, those. Indefinite, one, any, anyone. Indefinite means something that is not de definite, okay? So it can be anyone, it can be anything, it can be anybody, somebody, all, none, all these are indefinite, okay? Anything that ends with none, sorry, one, anything that ends with body, anything that ends with thing, all these are indefinite pronouns, okay? Distributive. Each something that distributes. Demonstrative is something that demonstrates this, that, these, and those. Okay. Reciprocal is each other and one another. Relative is who, whose, who, which, that, what. Okay. And uh, finally, we have interrogative as who, whose, whom, which, what. Okay. Interrogative again, these are for questions okay and relative are for not for questions they are to relate to a sentence okay hi vishal fabulous okay <laughs> oh my god right <laughs> Hmm. bye Shripa bye for today please make sure that you watch the recorded session I'm gonna miss ya uh, and next month onwards promise you that the timings are gonna change alright alright so kinds of pronoun clear here kinds of pronoun clear here
all right so let's move on to personal pronouns okay this is very very important because this is the most important type of pronoun okay personal pronoun is the most important type of pronoun because yahi se hame um it forms the basis of most of the words that we use in pro use in pronouns okay or is se related jitne bhi rules are we will be looking at that as well okay so sabse pehla hai if you look at these sentences okay i am playing we are playing you are playing you are playing he or she or it is playing or they are playing all right so here if you see i we you he she it and they are called these all are called personal pronoun okay so i i you he she and it we you and they these are called personal pronouns okay why they are call, called personal pronouns because they stand for the following three persons okay because they stand for the following three persons teen person ke liye they stand okay they stand for the for three persons okay what are the three persons first person first person kon hota hai is the person or persons speaking as okay ओके सो फर्स्ट पर्सन इज द पर्सन हु स्पीकिंग यहां कौन बोल रहा है मैं बोल रही हूं ओके द पर्सन हु इज डूइंग द एक्शन ऑफ स्पीकिंग इज द फर्स्ट पर्सन सो व्हेनेवर आई हैव टू एड्रेस द पर्सन हु इज स्पीकिंग आई विल से आई अगर बहुत लोग बात कर रहे हो ओके बहुत लोग साथ में गा रहे हो ओके सो वी आर सिंगिंग ओके सो इफ द पर्सन एक इंसान से आवाज आ रही है तो इट इज आई अगर बहुत लोगों से आवाज आ रही है तो इट इज वी ओके आवाज जरूरी नहीं इफ यू आर टॉकिंग अबाउट सम द फर्स्ट पर्सन इज टॉकिंग ओके सेकंड पर्सन इज द पर्सन और पर्सन स्पोकन टू ओके सेकंड पर्सन जिससे हम बात कर रहे हो ओके हियर आई एम टॉकिंग टू यू ओके इवन इफ आई एम जस्ट टॉकिंग टू शिफा आई विल स्टिल से यू इवन इफ आई एम इफ आई एम टॉकिंग टू शिफा एंड राही आई विल स्टिल से यू इफ आई एम टॉकिंग टू ऑल ऑफ यू ऑल स्टिल आई विल से यू ओके so you is second person and third person is the person spoken of jiske bare mein hum baat kar rahe let's say hum manu sir ke bare mein baat kar rahe okay so he let's say hum um, pooja ma'am ke bare mein baat kar rahe to she okay and let's say hum uh, an academy ke bare mein baat kar rahe to it और लेट से हम तीनों के बारे में बात कर रहे हैं to we will use they okay so jiske bare mein baat kar rahe we use for third person एब्सोल्युटली करेक्ट आप राइट नाइस स्वेशा 
nice sorry afreen sorry sorry i was uh, i just got an urgent call or urgent text actually that i had to respond to anywho coming back to the session okay sorry about that it is used it is it kiske liye use hota hai lifeless things ke liye bhi use hota hai okay it can be used for lifeless things jaise yahan par hum humne an academy ke bare mein baat ki hai aur it can be used for animals as well okay ओके okay, जिनका जेंडर आप स्पेसिफाई नहीं करना चाहते या आपको पता नहीं है ऐसे एनिमल्स के लिए आप इट यूज करते हो okay? और फॉर नॉन पर्सनल थिंग्स येट इट इज इंक्लूडेड अमंग पर्सनल प्रोनाउन ओके इट नॉन पर्सनल थिंग्स के लिए भी इट यूज करते हैं लेकिन भी ये इंक्लूड होता है पर्सनल प्रोनाउन में राइट right? All right. So let's look at the forms of pronoun. Okay. An academy. Let's crack it. Okay. Let's look at the forms of pronoun. Okay. So, uh, हम देखते हैं first person. Okay. Now, पहले हम देखेंगे case. अब नाउन के तीन केसेस हो सकते हैं ओके okay? एक तो होता है नॉमिनेटिव केस ओके नॉमिनेटिव केस दैट मींस दैट इज आल्सो नोन एज द सब्जेक्टिव केस जैसे हमने सब्जेक्ट वर्ब अग्रीमेंट में जो सब्जेक्ट देखा था दैट इज द नॉमिनेटिव केस ओके समथिंग दैट इज यूज्ड एज अ सब्जेक्ट राइट अब दूसरा होता है ऑब्जेक्टिव केस ओके वेर नाउन और प्रोनाउन इज बींग यूज एज एज दब्जेक्ट ओके सो इफ आई से आई टुक माई डॉग आउट आउट ओके सो यहां पर आई क्या है वॉट इज आई I becomes the nominative case, right? I over here is the nominative case. Okay, nominative case है and dog over here is the objective case, है ना? Right? Right, everyone. And finally, we have nominative, objective, and possessive case. Okay? पोजेसिव केस में क्या आता है जैसे यहां पर हो गया माई डॉग ओके माई इज द माई इज शोइंग पोजेसिव केस ओके मेरा ओके सो दीज आर द थ्री केसेस ओके जिसमें हम देखेंगे ओके एंड देन वी लेट्स लुक एट सिंगुलर फॉर्म क्या होगा एंड प्लूरल फॉर्म क्या होगा सो नंबर दीज आर कॉल्ड नंबर ओके दिस इज केस This is number, okay? These are numbers, okay? So अगर हम um, first person का देखते हैं okay? First person के बारे में देखते हैं इन सब cases में तो first person nominative case क्या होगा I, okay? यहां पर हम क्या use कर रहे हैं I. अगर मुझे first person nominative case का plural number देखना है तो क्या होगा What will be the plural number? first person plural number how will it be he is it will be we right yes no 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 problem don't be sorry objective case kya ho jayega agar hum i ko agar hum jaise uh, he is going to the movies along with what will i say possessive uh, sorry objective case kya hoga i ka i ka uh, objective case kya hoga He is going to the अगर मेरे साथ जा रहा है ओके okay, अगर मेरे साथ जा रहा है सो आई विल से ही इज गोइंग टू द मूवी अलोंग विथ नहीं इज नहीं 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 फर्स्ट पर्सन में uh, ये सब आते ही नहीं है अलोंग विथ मी राइट हिम मी 
अरे फर्स्ट पर्सन द पर्सन हुज टॉकिंग पर्सन हुज टॉकिंग कैन बी ईदर आई और इट कैन बी वी अब इसी का ऑब्जेक्टिव फॉर्म क्या होगा इट कैन बी मी आई का ऑब्जेक्टिव फॉर्म मी हो जाएगा वी का ऑब्जेक्टिव फॉर्म क्या हो जाएगा वी का ऑब्जेक्टिव फॉर्म क्या हो जाएगा फर्स्ट पर्सन हाय कुश गुड इवनिंग आस ओके नाउ लेट्स टॉक अबाउट लेट्स टॉक अबाउट पोजेसिव फर्स्ट पर्सन का पोजेसिव क्या होगा आय का पोजेसिव सिंगुलर नंबर का पोजेसिव क्या होगा पोजेसिव या माई और माइंड ओके एंड फर्स्ट पर्सन प्लूरल नंबर का पोजेसिव क्या होगा फर्स्ट पर्सन प्लूरल नंबर का पोजेसिव क्या होगा आवर और आज your is this clear so i am going to the movie along with him is the first person singular number i becomes the first person singular number okay i agar main aapse puchu first person singular number kya hoga so first person is the person who is talking uska nominative case is the jisse wo start hota hai jisse jo wo subject form karta okay so i becomes the first person singular number okay nominative case if i say first person plural number nominative case it will be we right if i say first person singular number objective case it will be me okay he is going to the movies along with me agar main bolu first person plural number objective case it will be us us okay now let's talk about the possessive case okay possessive case again when we talk about the possessive case it should be if i say first person singular number possessive case it it will be my or mine okay first person plural number possessive case will be our or ours okay yes i am taking your session this is uh, or attending your session both are fine uh, both are fine i am taking your session or i am attending your session afrin here i is the first person okay is this clear to everyone is this clear to everyone so generally ye jo dekha jata hai na these ye generally sentence ke end mein lagta okay so this is my book or this is my class this class is mine or this book is mine okay this is our class this class is ours okay this is our book this book is ours okay so ours generally end mein use hota hai is this clear first person is clear to everybody everybody yeah rock your body yeah अगर सब क्लियर बोलेंगे देन ओनली आई विल बी मूविंग ऑन रखी राइक स्ट्रीट पैक और राय और राय आफिंग वॉट what are we talking about now let's talk about the easiest one second person second person kon hota hai jisse baat kiya ja raha hai okay jisse baat kiya ja raha hai that is the second person isn't it तो सेकेंड पर्सन का भी वही होगा नॉमिनेटिव केस होगा ऑफ 
ऑब्जेक्टिव केस होगा और पोजेसिव केस होगा एंड दिस वन इज द इजिएस्ट इसका भी सिंगुलर होगा एंड देन प्लूरल होगा राइट दिस वन इज द इजिएस्ट सो सेकेंड पर्सन नॉमिनेटिव केस विल बी यू राइट सेकेंड पर्सन नॉमिनेटिव केस प्लूरल नंबर विल ऑल्सो बी यू ओके सिंगुलर हो चाहे प्लूरल हो यू स्टिल से यू ऑब्जेक्टिव केस विल ऑल्सो बी यू प्लूरल नंबर विल ऑल्सो बी यू ना पोजेसिव केस क्या होगा Yes, your okay. Your yeah, yours okay. Now this is why in letter writing we write yours without an apostrophe. इसीलिए बोला जाता है कि इसमें yours sincerely, yours faithfully. You do not write, you do not put an apostrophe mark. Why? Because it is showing possession. Okay, it is showing possession. It is not showing contraction. Okay, yours में apostrophe s नहीं होता है. Okay, because it is the possessive form of second person your or yours again no apostrophe after you that's what i'm talking about no apostrophe okay possessive case mein yourself hota hai not yourselves okay yourself okay is this clear to everybody second person is clear to everybody yes jabbar yes yourself again it should be one word okay Afrin, yourself is reflexive. Okay, that is one word. Okay, reflexive or emphatic. Hai. Now moving on to the third. थर्ड पर्सन का केस अगेन द सेम केस इज नॉमिनेटिव लेकिन थर्ड पर्सन में ना ये सिंगुलर नंबर जो होता है इट इज फर्दर डिवाइडेड इंटू मैस्क्यूलिन फेमिनिन न्यूटर जेंडर्स ओके अगेन प्लूरल फॉर ऑल द जेंडर्स ओके फॉर ऑल द जेंडर ओके देन वी हैव ऑब्जेक्टिव केस एंड पोजेसिव केस ऑल राइट नॉमिनेटेड बाय प्रेसिडेंट हुआ ओके, नॉमिनेटिव केस क्या हो जाएगा नॉमिनेटिव केस क्या हो जाएगा फर्स्ट पर्सन सॉरी थर्ड पर्सन सिंगुलर नंबर नॉमिनेटिव केस क्या हो जाएगा मैस्कुलिन जेंडर का ही राइट फेमिनिन शी न्यूट्रल इट और इन तीनों की बात हो रही है तो प्लूरल दे राइट ऑब्जेक्टिव केस क्या हो जाएगा ही की जगह क्या हो जाएगा 
हिम फेमिनिन हर इट का इट ही रहेगा प्लूरल देन है ना और राइट देन लेट्स लुक एट पोजेसिव केस पोजेसिव केस का क्या हो जाएगा ही का हिज इसका हर भी हो सकता है या हर्स भी हो सकता है इट का इट्स विदाउट द अपोस्ट्रोफी अगेन विदाउट द अपोस्ट्रोफी अगेन ओके रिमेंबर इट्स इज द पोजेसिव फॉर्म इट विथ द अपोस्ट्रोफी इसका मतलब क्या होता है इट इज होता है राइट right? इसको आप हमेशा ऐसे ही पढ़ेंगे जब अपोस्ट्रोफी दिखेगा तो आप इसको हमेशा कैसे पढ़ेंगे इट इज ओके विदाउट द अपोस्ट्रोफी इज पोजेशन ऑफ नॉन लिविंग थिंग्स न्यूट्रो जेंडर ओके एंड अगर इन सबका पोजेशन तो देर या देर is this clear to everyone try giving me five sentences with this its try giving me five sentences with this its or just try giving me one sentence with this its so this is their book this book is theirs हेलो माधव हाँ यस no it will still be is it will be it is my car okay you will read it as it is my car mine is showing the possession not its oh there it is my country again you are making sentence with it is you are making sentences with it is i am asking you to make sentences with its the robot ha that has its unique features the robot has its own unique features okay the robot has its own unique features okay absolutely correct rahi good job what about the others come on Rupal sentence. Cat ate its food. Yes, absolutely correct. Correct, correct. It's a natural gift. Again, you are using it is. Afrin, again you are using it is. Kisi animal ya non-living thing ka possession dikhana hai apko yaha pe. like the cat bit its own tail or the car is parked in its place or the bird lay eggs in its nest the dog hurt its paw yes absolutely again sunil it is my book you will read it as it is my book it is contraction of it is it's not possession my is showing the possession oh 
She said its name is baby. Yes, Shweta, absolutely correct. Baby, 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 oh, like baby, 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 no. Okay. So you, you must have thought this is easy, right? This is not that easy, okay? The car which was burnt has only its iron body parts left, okay? I know you love me. I know you care. <laughs> God. All right, yeah, the clear is up. So do this in your free time. Make sentences with it's where you, if you are not able to read it as it is, then it is right, okay? If you're not able to read the sentence as it is, it does not make sense when you're reading it as it is, then it is correct, okay? Then it is this it's, okay? Then it is the possession, okay? If you can read it as it is, then you're wrong. It is not possession. I can see its eyes, yes. The elephant talks to its baby. Okay, I T. Yaha apostrophe nahi hoga afri. Correct sentence, but yaha apostrophe nahi hoga. The elephant talks to its baby. Okay, yaha par apostrophe nahi hoga. All right. All right. So before we move further, uh, level up your preparation this festive season. You get get twenty percent off plus two months uh, two months extension with twelve months on your Clat Plus subscription. This offer is available for um, till twenty eighth of March. That is still today. So hurry, hurry. You can use my code Vashnavi ten to enroll in this batch. Uh, Clat Iconic is the same offer available again. You can use. Uh, not in this batch uh, uh, avail this offer again you have to use my code Vashnu. <laughs> sorry Vashnavi 10 to avail this offer all right and get maximum discounts not twilight batch is an evening batch uh, for flat, ALIT and other law exams for 2025. You can use my code VASHNAVI10 to enroll in this batch. I am taking English language in this batch. Last mile batch is another batch for MHCT, CUET, LLB and other LLB exams for 2024. I am taking English language in this batch. So use my code VASHNAVI10 to maximize your discount and enroll in this batch. Legal Mavericks batch is a batch for CLAT, MHCT, ALIT and other LLB exams for 2026. I am taking English language in this batch. So use my code VASHNAVI10 to enroll in this batch. CLAT 2025 Premium Capsule is a, um, is a capsule for printed with, which has printed notes along with 50 mock tests. Just may aapko curated, uh, these are curated by top educators. Printed study materials will be delivered right at your doorstep. And pack of 50 test series will be available in 40 CLAT, ke milenge, 6 CLAT, ke milenge, and 4 OLED. Ke milenge, and this is available at a discounted price of 9999 only. CLAT 2025 Standard Capsule is, uh, a, uh, is again a digital. Uh, capsule for digital notes along with pack of 50 mock tests just may aapko these are curated by top educators revamped clat digital notes along with 40 clat and 6 alit and 4 other uh, olets ke saath again same thing uh, this is available at a discounted price of 6499 only clat 2025 assure is an assurity from us at that till you clear clat hum aapke saath hai these are the terms and conditions so read the terms and conditions carefully and this offer is valid till 31st of march okay Where are you going? What? Okay, it's okay, so job. 
sleep tight. Of course, I, Ace is a guy. I can tell. I can really tell. <laughs> All right. His does not have two possessive forms, okay? His ka koi do possessive form nahi hota hai. His ka his is nahi hota hai, okay? But it uh, is used for both possessive pronoun and possessive adjective, okay? Agar hum possessive adjective ki tarah bhi isko use kar sakte, possessive pronoun ki tarah bhi use kar sakte. This is his pen or this pen is his, okay? अगर this is his pen लिख रहे हैं यहाँ पर his के बाद एक noun आ रहा है that means it is an adjective okay जब भी noun के noun आता है ये सारे words के बाद जो pronoun है उसके बाद अगर कोई noun आ रहा है तो pronoun has failed to do its job okay then it is not pronoun then it is adjective okay this pen is his in this case you can see that his के बाद कोई pronoun sorry कोई noun नहीं आ रहा so in this case it is pronoun possessive pronoun okay सारे words के साथ ऐसे ही है same words are uh, for adjectives and same words are for pronouns okay some of these words just a demonstrative pronoun be with a demonstrative adjective be with it okay then you have relative pronoun relative adjective as well okay so jo bhi ye sare words hai okay jo pronoun may be dikhte or adjectives may be dikhenge you just have to easy way to differentiate is ki aap dekhoge ki agar uske aas paas ek noun hai then it is adjective okay agar uske aas paas koi noun nahi hai then it is pronoun is that clear यही बाकी रह गया इस सो इट इज टू बी नोटेड दैट यू एंड इट हैव द सेम फॉर्म फॉर सब्जेक्ट एंड ऑब्जेक्ट ओके यू और इट का सेम सब्जेक्ट और ऑब्जेक्ट में सेम फॉर्म होता है सब्जेक्टिव फॉर्म भी यू 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 होता है ऑब्जेक्टिव फॉर्म भी यू 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 ओके इट का भी सेम सब्जेक्टिव और ऑब्जेक्टिव सेम होता है ओके एंड हर हैज हर जो होता है उसका सेम फॉर्म ऑब्जेक्ट एंड पोजेसिव प्रोनाउन में होता है एंड यू हैज द सेम फॉर्म इन सिंगुलर एंड प्लूरल ओके सो इफ यू सी हियर इज द डोंकी इट ये सब्जेक्ट यूज हो रहा है इट किट मनु बिकॉज मनु किट इट ओके सो सब्जेक्टिव ऑब्जेक्टिव ऑल राइट आप अभी भी यही हो इस आप तो जाने वाले थे यहां पर सब्जेक्ट यहां पर ऑब्जेक्ट आई गिव हर हर इज बीइंग यूज्ड एज ऑब्जेक्ट आई इज सब्जेक्ट हर इज ऑब्जेक्ट बैक हर यहां पर पोजेशन के लिए भी सेम यूज कर रहे सो हर का पोजेशन और ऑब्जेक्ट सेम होता है ओके विच इज हर ओके एंड इट का सब्जेक्ट और ऑब्जेक्ट सेम होता है राइट गुड जॉब इज दिस क्लियर टू एवरी वन बहुत सिंपल सा कॉन्सेप्ट है ओके Is this legible? क्या आप ये देख सकते हैं क्या आप ये पढ़ सकते हैं क्या आप ये पढ़ सकते हैं I am sorry. I cannot that do that, but you can, from your side. <laughs> can I? Oh yeah, I can. Mm -hmm. But I can't zoom it for the entire thing. See, it will not. Oh my God! God! Oh my God! How can I?
ठीक है तो एट का यूजेस देख लो ओके जस्ट रीड माय गॉड Okay, so just go through these uses. Okay, this is not something that I need to teach you or anything. Okay, these are the uses. There are more uses, but we will not be talking about it. Ka uses ki kaha kaha it use hota hai. I'm just going to read it out. Okay, A example bhi de diya gaya hai. It is normally used for things without life. Okay, so bring the book. I want it. Okay, second is it is used for an animal. Useless. Sorry. unless we want to refer to it as male or female and sometimes for a baby or a small child when the sex is unknown or unimportant okay okay so i like that bird as it has beautiful color the baby fell down it started crying it is used as a formal or meaningless subject especially in talking about the weather it is raining heavily meaningless subject iska koi meaning nahi hai yahan par it is cold outside it is sunday It's ten o'clock now. Sorry, it's six o'clock now. Uh, it's two miles from here. It's the shortest way. Okay, so it over all in all these are used as meaningless subject. Okay, then it is used as a provisional subject of a verb. Am, is, are, was, were. Mostly when the real subject, that is a group of words or a clause, comes afterwards. Okay, so the देखो इट इज डिफिकल्ट ओके सो इट इज डिफिकल्ट टू लर्न चाइनीज ओके सो ह्योर इट टू लर्न चाइनीज इज डिफिकल्ट इट शुड बी द एक्चुअल स्टेटमेंट बट हम इसको इट इज के साथ अगेन इज के साथ जोड़ दे रहे हैं फॉर मीनिंग लेस सब्जेक्ट ओके इट वॉज इम्पॉसिबल फॉर हिम टू फिनिश द वर्क फॉर हिम टू फिनिश द वर्क वॉज इम्पॉसिबल इट सीम्स यूजलेस वेटिंग वेटिंग सीम्स यूजलेस it is not certain whether he uh, would come whether he would come is not certain okay this is like this has to be here it's odd that he hasn't informed me that he hasn't informed me is odd okay this should be the real sentence is this clear to everyone i think i just had to read it that's it i don't have to do anything else with it tere all right all right all right okay there are more things uh, but we are not going to discuss it in this class because i think you will get overwhelmed with all the information that we are doing let's take it slow let's keep it uh, rolling okay because it is very very important now we are going to be discussing the rules related to personal pronoun and reflexive pronoun we will be discussing together in the next session okay so let's wind up the session here itself okay so that we uh, do not get overwhelmed by the content so that content bahut zyada nahi ho that is it for today guys yes that is it for today <laughs> that is it <laughs> All right, fantastic. Uh, I hope you got everything that I said. Okay, बहुत important है कि ये table याद रखें आप. Okay, this table is the most important out of all the things that we have done. This is the most important. If you remember these three ta uh, tables of first person, second person, and third person, it is going to be fairly easy for you. Okay, so remember this, and then we will be talking about the rest of it in the class tomorrow. That means personal pronoun uh, ka rules. There are five rules that we are going to discuss. Very important five rules, and then. And reflexive and emphatic pronoun jo zyada nahi it is very very simple and then we will be looking at some questions on these two okay all right so thank you everyone as you can go to sleep now bye bye good night thank you everyone for attending the session merci beaucoup auf wiedersehen au revoir bye and jai hind